top tip that's related to pressing your cheese. This is a Gouda cheese that's been pressed now for four hours, which is enough to do the job. You can see the way's all been pressed out. There's a little bit down in the pan here. And now I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the shape of the cheese. So I'm taking it out of the cloth. And as you can see, it's a little bit cockeyed. It's a little bit wider on this side than the other. Now the, the way you can avoid this is when your cheese is in the press, I'm not going to bother to put it back in the cloth, but just to show you, this kind of a weight is going to cause your cheese to, to, to get that kind of uh, cockeyed shape because the weight is so tall. What you could do is use a, this piece of stone here would be a much better choice for a weight and that would help you avoid that problem. Also maybe getting your your drain table a little more on the uh, the plane would help avoid that problem.